Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is a bright and glorious Tuesday morning. It's about 10 to 8. I'm way ahead of schedule. I normally just don't get out of bed, and I always leave late for this route, and then I'm behind the eight ball the entire way. Also, for some reason, this route, I always seem to end up hitting traffic when I leave Virginia Beach. So far, so good. But I've only just pulled out of my place, so... <laughs> Haven't even gotten my Starbucks yet. Let's just go get some bean and hit the road. So I watched this video last night by The Photographic Eye. That's his YouTube channel. And he talked about how he's been a, a, like a family portrait photographer in the UK for, for, I don't know, like eight, nine, ten years or something like that. And he's decided to stop doing it because he just feels like it he just didn't feel like it was right anymore that that chasing after money for his photography wasn't something that he wanted to do anymore and he's in a position where he doesn't have to do it to be able to survive so he's now going to be shooting for the love of shooting and getting back to his passion of photography and everything and i've been saying that all along i'm not doing this to make money the last time I monetized my photography, it became another awful job that I hated doing. And I put my cameras away for a long time. Then something sparked me and, and I got my inspiration back and I went out and I started doing this again. And if you've been here for a while, you've been following my journey as I got back into photography and delved into videography so that I could document my photography. People are just always astounded that I have all this amazing gear and that I'm not out there grinding trying to make money. I'm like, oh man, you should be shooting weddings. Oh man, you should be doing this. Oh man, you should be doing that. I don't want to do those things. If I wanted to do those things, I'd be doing them. I just like to shoot. I like to walk around the woods and take pictures. I like walking around downtown areas. I like walking around college campuses, uh, you know, anywhere. I take a camera with me everywhere, at least one camera. You, you hear me moaning about sometimes I carry too much. They just can't get over the fact that I shoot because I just wasn't. God damn it. Well, there's another crack in a windshield. Jesus, I become a magnet for this shit. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, all right, so as I was saying, they just can't believe that I shoot because I have a passion to shoot, that I just want to do that, that I don't want to go out there and grind and make money, you know, and that, that you know, I'll jump back on that freaking anti Matty Hapoya uh, thing that I went on a couple of weeks ago about how I thought his video was just shit and horrible, horrible advice that he gave to millions of people that if you don't do this to make money, then you're stupid. No, you're not at all. Don't buy into that bullshit. If you like to shoot and take pictures and shoot video and buy gear and play and have fun and you don't care if you make any money from it, good for you. All right, before I start getting crazy and ranty. So now I was just watching another video. Sorry, listening to another video. And he's saying how, you know, how you can find inspiration when you feel like you're not inspired to shoot anything. You feel like there's nothing to shoot, that you're in a shit area, you know, you need to move somewhere more exciting. And, you know, and I feel that way too, because I see all these amazing videos that these people shoot like, all over the place, you know, and they, they live in these places that have these unbelievable mountain views and these crazy waterfall, river, jungle, this, that, and the other thing. And it's like, holy crap, you know, I'm at Virginia Beach. There's the beach. There's three ships. You know, I mean, stuff like that. But the truth of the matter is, is that because I travel all over the place, I mean, Jesus, I ought to be able to find something on, on the bulk of the East Coast to take a picture of. And I kind of got away from that because I was in my gear acquisition phase where I was just trying to get my kit together. And now that I have my kit together, I've been saying that, you know, now I want to go on and start shooting and creating content and all that kind of stuff. But then I was a little bit lost for things to do. And, I, you know, I'm sitting in my studio at home and I'm like, eh, what am I going to shoot today? And I'm like, well, nothing, because I just keep going to the same three or four places. And, and how many times can I go there and shoot that? Well, the thing is, based on this guy's, what he was just saying, is like one of the mo most, 
you know, well-known famous photographers was, I think, living in Memphis. And, and he was bitching and complaining about the fact that he didn't have anything to shoot, that it, that it was like a horrible, ugly area. And the person that he was saying this to said, well, I don't know, maybe instead of looking for something fantastic and great to shoot somewhere else, why don't you just shoot the ugly where you are? And that set him down a path and a career path that basically was like amazing. And he got to shoot all, he just shoots all these everyday mundane things, has, has all these amazing pictures of everyday life. And sometimes everyday life is shit, as I've been saying for a while here. So he's really been, you know, going out there and looking through a different perspective. And he's like, you know, most of the stuff that we see is from our perspective, which is at eye level, same shit all the time. He says, maybe try changing your perspective. And instead of shooting from eye level all the time, get down on the ground, get down low. And he shot this really cool picture of this cat that was standing in front of him. And it just, it's basically taken like right on the floor of this cat. And you can only see the cat from like the, the its torso down as it's, as it's sitting there. Um, it was an amazing picture. And I was thinking to myself, man, I could take so many pictures of my cat, but they're always the same picture. You know, like I'm, I get him from above when he's on the landing of the stairs. I get him in his tree. I get him laying in the sun spot, but always from me standing above him. I don't ever really get down on the ground and take a picture. The other thing is that I remember when I used to shoot my wife a lot, she always used to say, okay, can you squat down? Because all your pictures are taken at your height, but I'm so much shorter than you. It, it's just it's just always looking down at me. She goes, get down lower. So I started using a stepping stool and, and I would sit down on this step stool and it would put me down straight on at her level. And it completely changed the pictures. And she's like, see, that's what I mean. So then monkey brain's thinking, you know what? I need to get like a, not a ladder, but a, some kind of a stepping stool that, that gets me up higher. I could take the same pictures that I've been taking at Pleasure House Point or wherever I am, but taking them from three steps up and it co it'll completely change the view and the perspective, thus changing the picture and what it's capturing. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go see if I can find a relatively light, at least three step step stool, step ladder, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to go out and buy like a freaking, you know, a Werner ladder, but you know, something like that, that, that I can, you know, add to the shit that I carry when I'm walking around. But, you know, get something like that where I can then just go out and change my perspective. Maybe get something up a little bit higher that I normally can't get because, I'm, you know, I'm not seven feet tall. Or start getting down on the ground. Get a little dirty. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to experiment with that. And I go out there and I'm going to change my perspective. So thanks to the photographic eye for inspiring me to change things up. And, and reigniting, you know, the fact that I don't have to have this grand vista with a supermodel to, to get, like, cool pictures. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I just thought whilst I was thinking about it that I would share that. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, kids, I don't know how well this is going to come across. Here's the thing. The damn microphone mount broke. Well, it didn't break but somehow the screw backed off going through the cold shoe mount up into the microphone. And I was like, why is this thing so loose? And then it fell off in the parking lot when I was coming into the hotel. Of course, it's a proprietary screw. It, it has like that weird star pattern and I don't have anything like that on me that's small enough to fit in there. So no microphone for the rest of this video, which is going to be short. I'm just telling you that I've got problems. I've got this little light mounted up here in the hotel room looks like shit, sounds like shit, probably is total shit. Sorry, that's all you get. It's 9.07 already, so I haven't even had a chance to relax. But that's it, that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.